High Me is the world's first full-size solar electric pump-out boat in the world. Today is truly an historic moment for our local communities, our state, and our country, where we are reducing our carbon footprint and addressing climate change, which is impacting every corner of the world. Project, which is a collaboration between the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the East Shore District Health Department in the town of Branford, Pilots Point Marina, and Yale University, is a shining example of the kind of project that can be done not only to protect our water quality in Long Island Sound through the removal, removal of waste from recreational boats, but also through an example of what can be done to help combat climate change. The use of new technology on this boat through the solar electric design gives it an opportunity to shine not only in Long Island Sound here in Connecticut, but also nationwide. Branford East Shore District Health Department committed to reducing the carbon footprint of its pump-out boat program, it quickly realized that the environmentally friendly technologies it wanted to implement didn't actually exist yet. That's when they realized that they were onto something really important. They got to work developing their new car low carbon technologies, and they also got students from Yale involved to study how the new technologies stack up against conventional standards in terms of environmental impact and impacts on human health. So we partnered with Branford and the Pilots Point Marina to create computer models of the new boat and to calculate the carbon footprint of the boat over its entire life cycle. What we found was pretty stunning. The new technology would have a carbon footprint that was as little as one-tenth that of a conventional gasoline-powered pump-out boat. the research done on the boat here at Yale was conducted independently of the East Shore District Health Department so that our results wouldn't be biased one way or another. That's what makes our findings actually so remarkable. The environmental, health, and cost impacts of the boat were unexpected and while we knew that the boat would be the first of its kind, uh, we didn't know the magnitude of its effects actually. And so we're really excited here at Yale about the scalability of this technology. Imagine if all boats around the world whether they were pump-out boats or not, could be using solar electric energy and um, becoming more and more eco-friendly over time the way cars are right now. Uh, this has been a multi-year project for Pilots Point and uh, as part of the Safe Harbors Marina Group we value the ecosystem of Long Island Sound uh, and the fragile marine environment that supports us. The um, boating is our industry and we strive each and every day to provide great customer service and um, we have an obligation to keep our coastline clean and environmental stewardship to do that is a top priority and we have been designated a clean marina. Uh, working with our partners uh, on this project for the East Shore District Health Department uh, it was certainly an honor and a privilege to be chosen to do so. Um, and our team really enjoyed constructing uh, the, the eco-friendly boat. It was a, a groundbreaking project. This uh, is an important contribution to reducing carbon emissions and addressing the climate change. The vessel demonstrates its use can be a viable and sustainable option for other boating uh, recreational uses and commercial applications. 
It's also evident that this new technology shows a significant reduction in operating costs of pump-out vessels and carbon emissions. This, of course, would soften the increasing effects of climate change caused by human activities. Solar electric technology is the future for all boating worldwide and another step to protecting our planet and our future.